Hello everyone and welcome to our playthrough of The Last Campfire. This game has been released by the same guys that brought us No Man's Sky. So hopefully, its original release has been more well received than No Man's Sky was. I know nothing about this game other than it's reasonably wholesome. So without further ado, let's crack on and start a new game. Uh, let's go for normal mode. There is a place where the lost embers go. As their light begins to fade. Okay, so just to summarize. Stood still, unable to face what was to come. Oh, I don't, didn't want to interrupt the, the narrative there. So just to summarize what we saw, well, I originally thought it was adventurers going down this path. Um, obviously, shoot away a bird, lost his oar, and came down here, but. With the narrative towards the end, it's making me think that this is like the equivalent of a, a spirit or something that's coming to its end. Very Studio Ghibli feel to this so far. The wall glistened. The painting showed embers on a sacred journey. Very much looks like um, the uh, like life into death journey 
that a lot of cultures believe and follow. Emperor felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Emperor froze, almost too frightened to look away, and they noticed a small satchel. Stranger's satchel. The satchel felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. All right, so I guess we put the golden figure there in here. There was a symbol on the floor. There was a symbol on the floor. Ember noticed something wrong. Ah, so I guess we have to line them up. It's upside down. This. There was a round space where something used to fit. I guess we put the. Yeah, cool. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. What do you guys feel about this art style so far? I quite like it. Very, um, it's very bright and atmospheric. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Ember felt like they were being watched. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. With light. a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. this bit. Climb up. Um, don't think we can push that out of the way. That's fine. Ah, yeah, so 
Yeah, we can climb up on that upside. The caged flame stoked new hope in Ember. Very basic puzzles were quite satisfying, I have to admit. Flames are down. Hope was almost within reach. Guess I'm gonna get your bait right at the top then. <laughs> the flames spoke and Ember listened. So I need to go that way. I don't know if there's any um, hidden goodies this way. Oh, I can actually go this way. Oh, this is where I was earlier, I think. The flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warm them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is a place between places to travel through as your light fades. But none have passed on in a long time. The Forest King now holds us here. And those who linger will turn forlorn. Again, that word, forlorn. You actually get choices in uh, what you ask. I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. The forest king watches the doors. The campfire will light the way. Find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire. Travel wisely. Return if you have lost your way. I have to say, this game is so beautifully narrated. Massive, massive kudos for that.
So I guess I have to just pick up all these wandering lost spirits and bring them back to the fire. Then, uh... Oh. Man, there's a lot of ways you can go in this game. I feel like it'd be quite easy to get lost. <laughs> Um, so I can't jump in the water. <laughs> I should get stuck in the spider web. That's funny. Chain drop down. Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding. And on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. What are you doing up there, lonely fisherman? Um. Oh, I'm probably going to have to go all the way around and then maybe I can push that tree down when I'm on the other side to make the shortcut. That seem to do anything there. Stranger was trapped, caught in a maze. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay. Um All ah, right, I see how If I can drag that back, I can. It was hard to make sense of this place. Although, do I want that there? <laughs> Nothing's too obvious at the moment. I can just... Oh, okay, I can't drop them. Oh. Let's see... Can I just push this off? Oh, you cannot. Ah. 
All right, I think I've messed up here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess if I do that. This is a lot more trickier than I was expecting, <laughs> if uh, I'm honest. Like, it seems easy, but, um, it's really not. Alright, let's, let's try this again. We go all the way down here. Just looking at the left side as well, I'm not sure how... Push that one over. So... <laughs> okay, so I've done this. I just don't know... I don't really think that helps me in any way. <laughs> and you guys are probably watching and thinking it's so obvious. Maybe it is so obvious. I can't, I can't just like jump down there. It's this bit that I don't, unless this, unless this whole section is designed um, to like confuse you, because I, I I don't know how the part on the left is usable. Hmm. Let's push this back up. And I can't push it this way, can I? No.
Oh, wait a minute. What happens... If I do this? So, I push that there. Then... Pull this... Pulley out. I can run over here. Then and then do nothing. <laughs> uh. How do I make this go left? Is that possible? Can't jump down. I need, to, I need to be able to push that down, right? Let's go all the way around. Oh man, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> See, I can imagine this isn't too uh, fun to watch, but uh, I'm at the point where I feel like I just can't leave until I do this. Oh wait, was this... what? Oh, that's how you reset it. I tell you what, I'm gonna come back to this guy. <laughs> Maybe with a clearer head. So, uh, apologies for that. And just in case I don't complete that in this video, if you've worked it out whilst watching me fail for like 20 minutes, uh, please let me know below. The ember was curious. Where did you wake up? 
I'm headed for the crossroads. It's not far, I think. I've heard there's a nest there, a safe place. Any more dialogue? The ember was cured. I'm headed for the... Okay. I've heard there's a nest there. A safe place. Hey! It's Mr. Fisherman guy. Wait, I'm stuck. Let me go. The fisherman murmured quietly between sorrowful breaths. Fisherman felt so useless. His former joys oh. were hollow. Man, um, right, let's just go down and see. Sitting out there every day by the pond. Not really sure. Only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. A thought beating like a drum. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. Ember couldn't hold on. I had a bad feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> Man, I got some serious Dark Soul vibes from the dialogue and atmosphere of these NPCs. Anyone else feeling that? It was just how sad and depressed and lost everyone is. At least I can help the fisherman. For a brief moment, the fisherman struggled to speak. He looked at Embo, hopeful. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond. A big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Spent every day side by side. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is. Catches them before I can bait them. Oh, it makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. The old man looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember. Well, listen to me here, rambling on and on. It helps, though, telling someone. Thank you, Ember. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Sounds like I should be asking the frog. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Hey. Cool. I'm linking stuff up now. Hey, it's the frog. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. Its eyes were fixed on Embo, but it seemed to mean no harm. Was this the frog that the fisherman spoke of? Embo could hardly ignore the rumbling from the frog's belly. Oh, Mr. Frog, you need some food then. Can work on that. 
trying to remember. Where did I come from? Is it here or is it the steps? I think it was the steps. Forest campfire. I interact with this campfire. What does this do? The ghost said, Speak and I will listen. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. The forest king, the campfire will light. Find those who are lost. Bring That's embers the to the dialogue. fire. Travel wisely. Return if you have lost your way. Any more buttons? I guess not. Well, I think I think I'll hold it there for uh, for episode one of this series. I don't know whether I'll keep the uh, the 20 minutes of me getting stuck on that one puzzle in this video, but I guess I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.